Hello everyone, Anthony Sequera here with stormwindlive.tv and I want to go ahead and walk you through a very, very misunderstood command. It's access-class-out. Everybody knows we can use access-class-in in order to control exactly what devices can telnet into our device. We create an access control list, and then we go ahead and we tie this access control list to the access class in command, and we definitely can control who's telnetting into us. The problem for students is access hyphen class out. You see, I think what happened here is Cisco documented this particular command vaguely, rather poorly initially, and then a lot of misinformation about how it worked started to propagate into all these different workbooks and, and texts and labs out there. So let's understand exactly how access hyphen class out is going to work. We're going to jump right to the command line here, actually, and we're going to take a look at this on some devices that I've set up. So here I have R5, and R5 sits between an R1 and an R6 device in this particular topology. Now let me show you where students get into all kinds of trouble in totally not understanding this command. They read the documentation or they read some book that explains the command and it explains it this way. It says, okay, you can control outbound telnet with access class out. So they do something like this. Access list 10 deny any. And they say, all right, that's going to block all traffic. Let me go ahead and slap this in with access class under the lines. So they go access class, uh, line VTY zero to four, access class 10 out. And they say, all right, this is gonna do the job. I've got my access list, my standard ACL blocking everything. I've got the access 10 out command, access class 10 out. There is no way that this particular device is gonna be able to telnet into R1. No way. They telnet. 10.10.10.1 is the address of our R1 device, and they get right in. Yikes. They exit, they go back to R5 if they're clever here with their troubleshooting, and they do this list. And they look and they see, wow, it's not even logging any hits. So, ugh, the feature must be broken, must be a bug in the iOS code. Something's definitely wrong here. Well, here's the deal. Here's how this particular command works. Access hyphen class out will control Telnet from this router R5, but only for those individuals that have Telneted into this router. That's the key. Let's go ahead and prove this because I'm sure some of you out there don't believe me. All right, let's go over to R6. And on the R6 device, what we're going to do is telnet into the R5 device. Now that we are telneted into the R5 device, let's try our telnet into the R1 device. And notice now, the access class out command is doing the job that it is designed to do. It is not allowing us to telnet out from R5 thanks to that access class configuration. To clear up one last misconception about this command, it is indeed true that you do not have to use standard access lists anymore. You could use an extended access control list and you can get very granular with who's allowed to telnet in and telnet out, but understand that for the access hyphen class out feature, it is only gonna control that particular telnet action for those that have telneted in to that local device. 
Well, thanks so much for joining me, everyone. And I hope to see you in our live classes online at stormwindlive.tv. Thanks again, everybody.